Good morning guys, welcome to this week's Q&A. As you can see, I am here in our RV. There's Buzz and Brady's over there on the couch. This week is our first week in the RV and it's been going awesome. So I hope you guys are enjoying those videos. Let's get to this week's Q&A. Do you have any advice on keeping a health focused mentality instead of a diet focused one? Like working out to feel good and only when you feel up for it instead of feeling like you need to do it or eating less processed foods to heal your body instead of going to all of the junk foods that might make you feel good briefly? This is a really good question because this is something that I have been exploring and finding out for myself over the last several years. To get rid of that diet mentality, that guilt mentality, feeling like you have to do your workouts and feeling like you have to eat clean or track your food. From my own experience, it all stems from not feeling like you're good enough now. A lot of this takes finding what it means to be healthy and happy for you. And this can come from practicing self-love, working on your self-esteem, working on your confidence, body positivity, learning to accept yourself for where you are right now. So you can take out that dieting mentality and that feeling of not ever being good enough, you're, you're gonna be stuck in that mentality. So I would recommend focusing on what makes you feel good. So you said working out when you feel up to it. So some of my tips for you would be to focus on what makes you feel good. If exercising at this time makes you feel terrible, like all out terrible, and I'm not talking just having to get up and do it, but actually, Getting it done um, makes you feel terrible. Find something that makes you feel good. So if there's a sport that you enjoy, or if there's something that walking or something super simple, if that makes you feel good and you can reflect on your health and your body, then do that for now while you continue to focus on a more positive mentality and a more positive relationship with diet and exercise. Same thing with food. I, I think it's important to enjoy foods that, like the junk foods, if you really enjoy them, but just know that they're not going to feel as good in your body. So, you know, whenever I eat ice cream or something, I go into it knowing, hey, this is gonna be good and I'm gonna enjoy it, but I also have to keep in mind that it might make my stomach hurt or, you know, I might not feel as good afterwards. So you kind of have to take that into account. And over time, I think that as you focus on more whole foods, our taste buds change. Uh, it takes about three weeks, three to four weeks for our taste buds to adapt and change. And whenever you eat more whole foods, those basically hyper palatable sweet and salty foods are, are going to be not as enticing to you. So give it time. And again, focus on what makes you feel good. So focus on positive things about your body and about your life and focus on those as much as you can every single day. And I guarantee that as you continue to transition more into a positive mentality with yourself, with this journey and with just your life in general, then that can translate and filter down into nutrition and exercise. And I know it sounds kind of broad, but really just changing your mentality towards yourself entirely will filter down into those other things and make it easier for you to focus on exercising to feel good and eating to make your body feel good rather than feeling like you have to diet or you have to exercise. What's the purpose of warming up? Do warm ups have a significant impact on strength increases or does everybody do them to avoid injuries? For the most part, warming up is a great way to avoid injuries. Warm ups essentially are one of um, the best ways to get the muscles loosened up and warm for your workout. So that way they can actually stretch and move a little better without straining or tearing or breaking. A lot of injuries are actually due to not warming up properly. A lot of the time my, my hip flexors get really, really tight because I sit a lot during the day. And so if I don't warm up and I try and I put on, you know, 150 pounds on the bar and I squat, there's going to be a lot of pain. I could injure myself. So if you warm up those muscles, it loosens them, it gets the knots out, it gets the blood flowing so they can move a little more easily. It's not hard to find some good warm up routines. All you have to do is go to Google. If you're going to be doing an upper body workout, just Google upper body warm up, lower body warm up. A lot of the time you don't want to do static stretching before you work out. You want to save the static stretching for after the workout. Before the workout, you want to do some dynamic stretching, so movements that mimic what you're going to be doing in your workout. So if you're going to be squatting heavy, 
you want to do a lot of body weight squats or movements that help warm up the hips. Foam rolling is a great way to work out any, um, any knots or help loosen up the muscles even further. Just a quick Google search. Benefits of warming up. Increased movement of blood through your tissues makes the muscles more pliable. Increased delivery of oxygen and nutrients to your muscles prepares your muscles for stretching, prepares your heart for an increase in activity and preventing a rapid increase in blood pressure. So very valid reasons for warming up. So if you are exercising and you are working out, definitely make the time to warm up and cool down is important as well. You wanna stretch out the muscles after you go through the process of tearing them. You wanna stretch them so they'll be able to rebuild uh, more efficiently and more quickly. This last question is quite a long one, but I think it's a really good one. What should I do when I feel anxious all of the time while thinking about my next workout? The whole day my mind circles around the thought of having to do my workout and I don't want to, but after it's done, I feel good and I'm proud that I did it once again and I didn't skip it. Now, going on, Anne Marie had commented below this question in the video and she recommended working out before work to help eliminate the stress at the end of the day. Um, and then this person who asked the question responded and said that they have low energy in the morning because they intermittent fast. I guess my first question would be, are you truly enjoying your workouts? If you go into a workout and if you're doing something that you don't like, sure you're gonna feel good after you finish it because you feel like you accomplished something, you, you got those endorphins going, you got your body moving, um, and you feel like you did something that you're supposed to do. But if you're not truly enjoying your workouts and what you're spending your time on, it's not gonna be lasting. So, one, make sure you're enjoying what you're doing for exercise. If you truly don't enjoy it, find something else to get your body moving and try new things, try new ways to exercise. If right now you're just going into the gym and it's kind of monotonous, kind of boring, try a class if your gym offers classes. I teach a cycle class and it's so much fun. Look up some uh, workouts on YouTube, buy some workout DVDs, just do something that makes it more fun for you. Going for hikes, going on bike rides, rollerblading, I don't know, skateboarding, whatever you're into, uh, just find ways to get your body moving and actually enjoy it. And I think the more that you do that, the less you'll feel anxious about it. But I also picked this question to answer because I can identify with this. I actually, I have anxiety myself and every week it never fails before my cycle class, all day, I'm anxious thinking about it. I get anxious about it, um, I get nervous about it. Part of me thinks about not doing it even though I, I always teach cycle, um, just some weird part of me gets really anxious about it. And then after I finish my workout, I feel 1,000 times better. I had a blast, the class has a blast, and I'm so glad that I went. Um, I don't know if this is similar to what you experience after your workout, but I think a lot of it is just nervousness of doing something wrong, failing, really. I don't, I, this could be the case for you, it, it could just be me, but I guess my, a lot of my anxiety comes from messing up during the class, um, getting embarrassed, making myself look stupid when it's, it's not going to happen. As long as I teach my class and as long as everybody has fun, that's what I came there to do. Focusing less on that perfection mentality, thinking that you have to do this workout. I, I don't know what your workouts are, but if you're doing, say, CrossFit, if you're trying to focus on being the first to finish your workout or doing everything perfectly. Yeah, you're gonna get anxious because we're human. There's gonna be some degree of error. Something is going to go wrong at some point. So if you build it up that you have to do everything perfectly, you're gonna be anxious about it because you're gonna be constantly worrying about what could go wrong rather than just doing the workout and enjoying it. As far as the intermittent fasting goes, there have been times where I've, I've kind of intermittent fasted by default because I wasn't really hungry in the morning so I just didn't eat in the morning. I would work out fasted and, and it worked for me for a time but then there were times that I was super hungry in the morning and my energy was terrible so I couldn't work out fasted if, to save my life. If working out in the morning is gonna help you not be anxious, I would recommend eating in the morning. Intermittent fasting is just another diet. It's just another way to control your calories and um, basically what you do with intermittent fasting is you can fit in more calories in a shorter period of time so you feel like you're eating more. There have been articles that come out that do mention some benefits of intermittent fasting but I think that 
if intermittent fasting isn't something that you see yourself maintaining for the long term, again, it's just another temporary diet. If you can work out in the morning, I would I would recommend maybe trying it for a week. Try eating in the morning and then working out in the morning and see how you feel. See if that anxiety goes away. Um, see if you get a better workout in. See if you feel better. You just have to try different things, just like trying different workouts, and find what works for you and find what's enjoyable for you. Some people can work out fasted in the morning, some can't. It just depends on the person, uh, depends on their goals, on their lifestyle everything. So hopefully this helps answer that question. And thank you to everybody that did submit questions. I do these Q&As every single week, so make sure and leave your questions below for next week's Q&A, and stay tuned for more RV videos, more fitness videos. Um, I do have a couple announcements as far as my um, strength training goes coming up. Uh, I just need to put it together and put my thoughts down into a video, so stay tuned for that. Love you guys, and I will see y'all on Monday.